Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In today's video, we're going to be covering uh, number five from the practice midterm exam from the 150.5 course. And here we have a contingency table with a lot of details with three problems to solve. So here we have 200 viewers were asked if they are right-handed or left-handed. If a viewer is to be randomly selected from those surveyed, where to solve these three problems? The first is find the probability that the viewer is left-handed. Uh, part B says find the probability that the viewer is male or left-handed. And part C says find the probability that the viewer is right-handed given that the viewer is female. So here what we're doing for the first problem is just finding the regular probability that a viewer is left-handed. Now here we have the table which shows right-handed and left-handed people, also female and male people. And now, as you can see, it has a totals column and a row for each one. So the first step to do in this problem is to add going downwards, take summations, and also take sums going across, and make sure that the sums are equivalent, right? If they're not equivalent, you have to go back, double back, and add them over again. So our first step here is to add 75 with 25. This gives us 100. Make sure you're using a calculator to do these calculations. Then we have 70 plus 30 is also 100. And now we're going to cascade across in addition. So 75 plus 70, that's going to give us 145. 25 plus 30 gives us 55. And now we want to make sure both of these sums give us the same thing. Clearly 100 with 100 is 200. 145 plus 55 is also 200. So we're all right. Our total population here shows the 200 viewers here. And we're clear and good to go. So let's start with problem A, right? And in A, it says find the probability that the viewer is left-handed. So we're looking for the probability that the viewer is left-handed. And notice I'm using the letter L. As left-handed people are notarized by L, right-handed are notarized by R, females by F, and males by M. And to find the probability that the viewer is left-handed, I look at the left-handed, go to the total left-handed people, and put the 55 over the 200. This is the number of ways we have left-handed people, the total number of people available in the survey. So now the next step for this is to reduce our fraction, right? So we have 55 and 200. The common factor for both of them is 5, right? And so we're going to have 5 by 11 up top. We have 5 by 40 on the bottom. The 5s go away, and we're left with 11 over 40. All right, so let's move on to part B. Find the probability that the viewer is a male or left-handed. Now, this is an or problem. Because we have an or statement, we have to use the formula for or, right? And the formula for or I'm just using a general equation here is going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. And in this case, since they're not mutually exclusive, we know that they intersect at some point. So we have to use this equation. If they were not mutually exclusive, we would not use this intersection set, right? We would just have A plus B. But in this case, since they have common grounds where left-handed people can be males, we're going to use this formula. Now, in this case, we have the probability of a male or left-handed, right? So this becomes the probability of a male plus the probability that they're left-handed minus the probability that they're male and left-handed. Now, we already have the probability of somebody being left-handed. We're going to use this one because it's not reduced. And for the probability of being male, we take a look at the male column. We look at the total, put it over this, 200 of the total population. So we have 100 over 200 plus the probability of being left-handed, again, is 55 over 200. And this next step for the intersecting region of people that are male and left-handed is pretty straightforward if you're using a contingency table. So we go to the right, the, the left-handed people. My apologies. We're looking at the left-handed people that are male. So we find where these two intersect, and we see the intersection is here at 30. So the left-handed males, there are 30 of them. And the reason why we're doing this is because we're double counting them, right? So if we're counting all left-handed people, the females are 25, the males are 30. If we're counting the males that are the males in total, we have 
70 right-handed males, 30 left-handed males. And we notice that we're double counting this, po this position, so we have to subtract it to avoid this double counting problem. And now we're just going to add the numerators, and sub add these two and subtract this one. So 100 plus 55 is 155 over 200, and we're subtracting the 30 lastly. And this is going to give us 125 over 200. And again, we're going to reduce this, right? So 125 is 5 times 25. There's probably a bigger number here, right? We could use 25 as the common factor to reduce this. We have 25 by 5, or oh, it's the same number. On the bottom, we have 25 by 8. So our final result is 5 over 8. So this solution, for male or left-handed, just 5 over 8. Now we move on to the last one. And the last one usually gives a lot of people a lot of trouble when you're looking at it. But this is actually a pretty straightforward problem. The best news about this problem is, by textbook, if you use the, the solution for this, whenever you're given information, it works pretty straightforward. It's actually a blessing in disguise. So what we're doing is we're looking at the info, and it says, find the probability that the viewer is right-handed, right, given that the viewer is a female. So we're looking at the probability of B given A, and in this case, we're looking at the probability that the viewer is right-handed given that it's a female. Now as far as the work goes for this, it's pretty complicated by formula, but visually, by using a graph like a contingency table, this is a very straightforward problem. So what we do when we're given information is we truncate that information. So if we're only given the value that the viewer is female, right? So we're looking for the probability that the viewer is right-handed given that the viewer is a female, we could ignore everything except the female column because this is all the information we're given. Now that we're only given this, we're looking for the probability that the viewer is right-handed. And here we see there are only 75 right-handed females out of 100. So we take the right-handed and put it over the total. This is going to give us 75 over 100. And this reduces quite simply, right, because they both have a common factor of 25. So we have 25 by 3 over 25 by 4. These go away, and we have just 3 over 4. And that solves our conditional probability. Thank you.